five iPhone features you should know about. And features you can use to impress your friends. Let's start with Safari. A lot of cool keyboard shortcuts made for Safari. We're gonna highlight one in this video. So if I open Safari and I tap at the bottom of the screen, and what if I just wanted to do ESPN? Now, where's the .com button? You could type out .com like a chump, or you can press and hold the period, .com, .net, .org, or .edu and .us. Yeah. .com, go. How about that? Pretty cool. You just saved yourself three keystrokes. Good. Count them. I have the count. They call me the count because I love to count things. Our next tip is gonna be demonstrated in the Notes app. Let's go to the Notes app. I'll swipe up, tap on Notes. Here I am. Now, if I have a mouse in front of me, it's really easy for me to move the cursor to wherever I want to move it and make edits. So if David had misspelled anything in this, which of course he doesn't. I did, I did intentionally for the you demo did? of this video. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, look at this, you used the wrong there. There you go. Yes, you did. Yeah. So, I mean, how do I get that? I can't do that. What you could do, press and hold that space bar, and now, look at that, you're moving right around, and I'm gonna go right to that there. Right there. Right there. There are a lot of great perks, including member giveaways, early access to videos. You could become a David too, if you become a Pay It Forward channel member. Yeah. Please do. Maybe I wanna take a screenshot of this and share it with my friends and say, hey, look at this, look at this note. <laughs> I'll take a screenshot. Note. You can quick share a screenshot by pressing and holding on that preview. There you go. It's a little clunkier in iOS 15 running the developer beta. It'll be a lot smoother on your iPhone or in iOS 14. We promise you can just send it right off to your friend. And if you wanted to edit it, you could just tap on it and then you could send it off to your friends. That was feature number three. Here's feature number four. What if you want to make a phone call and hide your caller ID so that person doesn't know who you are? Well, you have to go to Walmart and buy a burner phone, right, David? You could do that, or you could type in star 67 before the phone number. So I'll go to the phone app here. Hmm. Star 67. Type in that star 67. Phone number. He's holding this up so as not to show my phone number, but at star six seven, you have to dial the area code of the person whose number you want to call. And who's calling me? No caller ID. No caller ID. None. Maybe it's somebody important. Doctors use it. You could, you know, hey, this is your doctor. Take my word for it. Next, we're gonna talk about control center versus notification center. Before we do, we don't wanna control you, but we do wanna notify you that you should subscribe to our channel. Click that big red subscribe button below the video. Right, it helps us tremendously, and we truly appreciate everyone who subscribes. A lot of people don't know that you can swipe down from the upper right-hand corner on any screen in your iPhone to open control center. And if you have an iPhone with a home button and not face ID, you just swipe up from the bottom of the screen. So. This is Control Center. You can do a lot of really cool things here. I would encourage you just to explore this. There are fewer controls than David has here by default, but we'll show you that in a second. The other thing we wanted to compare was this, which is swiped down from the upper right-hand corner to Notification Center, which is what happens if you swipe down from the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So sometimes people get a notification on their phone and they say, where did that just go? Because they swipe it off the top of the screen or swipe it somewhere because that's what we do. Here it is. You found them. And you can also scroll up and down if you have more than just that. Yeah, but we so, wanna talk about customizing control center too. Right, a lot of cool features in here. Let's open settings. Scroll down to control center. And here you go. Here are the controls that I set up, but there are also more controls. Like if you wanted a control right for the alarm. I use Siri to set my alarms. You can always do that. Do yes. you use Siri for alarms? I just go to the clock app. He just goes to the clock app, but he could be saving a tap. Yep, so I added alarms, swipe down. As you can see, now we've got alarms in here. Maybe you could take some to the clock app. There you go. Those are five iPhone features you should know about. Make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe, subscribe and like please. this video. Thank you.